Hey, greetings once again there, fellow gamers. This is the Gamer Guy in a Suit from the Echo Army YouTube channel. And we've made it a third of the way of our journey here in the 30 in 30. We are at number 10. Yay! So, let's just get right to it. Number 10 in our 30 and 30 of our 5-minute reviews, I'm going to be bringing you a review of the team-based multiplayer action gore fest known as Depth. Now, Depth's been around for a while. They just recently celebrated their first birthday last month on Steam, so they've been around since November 3rd, 2014. It was released by developer or publisher Digital Confectioners, and this is a game that I followed for about a year before I finally decided to pick up last month, so it's a key from my own library, and it was not provided by the developer or publisher. So, sorry for the late review, but I, I've been kind of just, you know, I don't know, I guess stalking this one like a shark would its prey, maybe? <laughs> and then I finally jumped and bit. Uh, the great thing is, is you can grab this guy on a four pack when it's on sale for like 25 bucks, and that is an insane deal for the value you get out of this game. So let me get right to the value of this game. Uh, as most of you may know, if you've played games with me before, I'm not a big fan of this style of game. I know some of you may have seen me do the Call of Duty streams with Echo, and I did play Battlefield 3 for a while. But team-based multiplayer games are not really my cup of tea. They're just kind of meh to me. Uh, I even did the Evolve beta and was not very impressed. I liked that concept, and this is where that concept takes on what I would have liked Evolve to have been. This is just a fantastic team-based game. You have your divers and your sharks, and they go into the ocean. There's three different game modes as of right now, and I think there's like five or six different sharks and the same, you know, six or seven different divers, all that good stuff. But you are underwater, which already adds so much more to the team-based multiplayer experience. You're not stuck on land. There's way more of a 3D aspect to this. Uh, there are destructible environments as a shark, which is really kind of awesome. So, like, say you've got your divers hiding in a cavern or something, you can find some weak spots in the environment to break your way through, and that's really kind of awesome as a predator to be able to do. Uh, whether you're a diver or a shark, obviously my favorite is being a shark, but you can be a diver as well. Whether you're a diver or a shark, you accumulate points. As a diver, like, as I was saying, I play the blood and gold mode mostly, they collect treasure and they defend themselves from the sharks. So depending on the amount of treasure you've collected and the amount of money you've collected, when you die and have to respawn, you are able to purchase new weapons and items as you go along and you can kind of power yourself up and make yourself stronger to defeat these sharks and get more treasure. Conversely, if you are a shark, you can earn what's called evolution bonuses. You earn these evolution points and you basically gain these abilities and the abilities are pretty far ranging like, you know, razor sharp teeth that'll cause the diver to bleed and all these kinds of different things. So you really want to check those out and invest wisely as you are playing. But this is just, uh, to me, team-based multiplayer at its best. Everything Evolve should have been is right here in this little game. Uh, I've had a lot of fun both ways. My favorite is as the shark, but I had a lot of fun as a diver, too. I got really good at being able to evade the sharks and collect copious amounts of gold and stick them back into our little Steve apparatus so that we actually get credit for the gold that we collect. And I, I had a lot of fun. If you equip yourself with the right equipment for your particular play style, you can actually do really well as a diver. This is not solely focused on being a shark, so please don't get that mis mistake, mistaken impression at all. Uh, the divers have a really fun part in this game. Uh, but to me, uh, I, I, I lean towards the shark, uh, specifically the tiger shark. Again, there are multiple styles of shark, depending on your style of gameplay. The tiger seems to be the middle of the road, and I like that an awful lot. I'm having a lot of fun darting through areas and grabbing divers and thrashing them about, and like I said, destroying the environment to sneak up on characters. It's, it's an awful lot of fun. This is something that I think most gamers could enjoy, really. It's a little on the gory side, so maybe not so much a family affair. It's an adult thing, but it's it's an awful lot of fun. And I'm not even a fan of this style of game. And it gets a full 4.5 out of 5 from me. The only thing that keeps it from a 5 is that it's still growing. The developers are very active. It gets consistent updates. The community is growing. Just go out there and jump all over this thing, especially if it's on sale. You won't regret it. This has been the Gamer Guy in a Suit from the Echo Army YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot. Happy gaming.